everybody welcome back to the channel uh, I'm very happy uh, that you guys get to watch this video thank you so much for tuning in um, as you guys can notice I have a few projects here that I've been working on and um, I like to share with you guys my shabby chic um, houses that I altered um, those are like the for Christmas Village and I have them and I want to give them a shabby chic look so I um, change them a little bit I paint them and making them look this cute all around and I think they are looking beautiful um, as you guys see I put some of these uh, pearl trims and these tiny broidery flowers and I paint them in white and pink and I think it come out very very cute this is the la petite pet shop as it says here and I think it come out really really adorable I use um, acrylic paint and the this green like um, uh, metallic color is from Prima from one of my uh, paints for, for um, from Prima that I hold from Michaels and I think they uh, look adorable I put some uh, white glitter all over to give it a little bit of the shine on top like a snow but I don't think the camera is speaking on that too much. But actually in person it looks very, very cute, very nice. Um, this is how, how the first one looks. And then I make this other one. And this one I paint it in color pink. This one is uh, heavier, so I'm going to keep it here on, in the table because I don't want to fall and break. Um, but um, pretty much the same process. I did use um, gesso. I gesso everything first and then I use acrylic paint on top. Um, and I use uh, this color here that is like a green and it's like metallic green. That's from uh, Prima. And I use the same trim and I use some of these um, white trim here. That I get from my stash and all these embroidery flowers are from my stash I have them from very very long time and the flowers are also from my stash and probably in this one because it's pink maybe the camera will pick some of the glitter maybe not I don't know but um, yeah I put glitter on top uh, sprinkle it with glitter and that's how that one looks and I think they come out really really cute I have another one and it's pretty big and I am working on it I still like working on it and as soon as that one get done I will um, share with you guys um, what I have done with it um, also I was uh, working with my dice and I create this cute Santa Claus with these dice and I already packaged them and I use um, my back topper that I got from uh, Aliexpress and this Santa Claus is also from Aliexpress and I think it come out very very nice so I make four of these so and I hope the recipient when they get these they be very very happy and if they want to alter them more they can whatever they want to do or use them for they're in there I also create some memory decks cards and the first one that I create was this using uh, the die from um, Aliexpress and I have these poinsettias from or to me they look like poinsettias um, I have them for a very long time ago uh, from Michaels and I did have them in my stash and I take them out today and I use them this tiny bow here it's from the Dollar Tree and um, I glue it there and I put this sentiment here that says peace and love and 
I back it up in this pink cardstock and I think they come out very, very cute. Um, also to send to the person who received them, they can, um, if they want to send it to somebody else or if they want to write anything in the back and information and create a memory Dex card like for their use, uh, they can do that. So I think they come out very simple but cute. Um, this is the other one that I create. It's kind of the similar, but I position the flower in the opposite side. And I think it come out very cute. This paper pad that I use is from last year from Michaels, one of the craftsmen. And this is called Always Christmas. Um, that's the paper pad that I'm using for this. So cute. And again, I did the same thing in the back. Use uh, pink paper uh, cardstock to make it like more sturdy and more nicer and I put this sentiment here it says let's be jolly and then I create from using the sugar blush from uh, recollection I think it is yeah from this year from Michaels um, using that I create this other a memory dex card and in this one what I did is um, one of the cutouts I cut the Santa Claus um, in with the circle puncher that I have and I put it in this ornament that I have from Dollar Tree this um, snowflake from Dollar Tree and I put in the back a little bit of this pink eyelash trim and then I die cut this cute bow that I have in my stash and I put it there and if they want to add anything else, alter it more, they can. And I back it up with the pink cardstock in the back. And I think it come out so, so, so cute. And I make this one also and it's the same design. Uh, that's what I create today. And I hope you guys like um, what my creations for today and um, what I'm sharing with you guys and if you guys did please give me a thumbs up um, thank you so much for watching I appreciate you guys uh, watching my videos liking and commenting in my videos thank you so so much for all the support and I hope everybody is having a wonderful wonderful time this uh, Christmas season and I will see you guys in the next video don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye now.